Today is when your evolution begins. Your goal is write out today's affirmation. Lisa is there on Skype. Hi there, Lisa. Hi. How are you? Pretty good, how are you? I'm very, very good. Thank you for being an Evolve member and giving us the opportunity to work with you today. Lisa, how can I help you today? Well, you know, I, I really, I've been looking forward to reading for you from you for a long time. I knew it would happen. I do have to tell you that I'm an animal communicator and a psychic medium myself, so I was sitting here like holding space and I felt the, just a whoosh of energy. And I'm only assuming it came from you. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I want to I wanna remember this feeling <laughs> so that I can put it into my own reading. Well, that's very, very cool. Let me ask you a question. When you say you're an animal communicator, when, when people get a new pet, when somebody gets a new pet, whether it be a dog, a cat, bird, whatever it is, what would you suggest they do with their pets to form a closer bond? There's several things, two, two, two things in particular. First is that I always recommend people to talk to their pets in their voice because I don't think people understand that, that animals understand more than we think they do. They may not understand every word we say of English or Spanish or French or whatever, but they under, we speak words with intent and they understand intent. So they're very, very connected to our energy. So somebody that has a new animal, the best thing that they can do is just talk to them. I always say, if you wouldn't say it in front of a child, don't say it in front of an animal. So don't don't criticize an animal in front of them. Don't, and, and the same thing is if you wouldn't like walk out of the house, you, you, if you were living with somebody, you wouldn't just walk out of the house and not tell them where you were going and not w when you were going to be back. So tell your animals, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be gone for, you know, four hours. They understand that or I'll be back by dinner time you know, or something like that. I always add an hour just in case I'm late. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, they understand. And the other thing is I have a little technique. Uh, I'm, I study Hawaiian shamanism, and it's a little technique called Pico Pico, P-I-K-O. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is it's very simple. When you breathe in, you focus on the top of your head. When you breathe out, you focus on your belly. And if you lay with your animal and do that. I give this to my clients all the time, and it's really a just bonding. to clarify. You're not laying on top of your clients and asking them to no. breathe in and out. It's okay. I'm just, just I'm just curious. <laughs> no, no. As you're as you're laying next to your as you're laying next to your pet, you can just do that, and they will they will feel it for you. You can actually you can actually do it for them too. I mean, energy flows where attention goes. So, you know, if you focus on the top of their head, if they're stressed out, you can focus on the top of their head and their belly. And you can, that's a, a real calming exercise. But if you do it together, if you do it for you, they connect to your energy and they connect to your vibration. And it's just a wonderful bonding exercise. Now, can you just say that again? The, the part where you said energy flows where attention goes and, and kind of own that? Yeah, energy flows where attention goes. It's, it's part of, um, it's one of the principles of HUNA, H-U-N-A, which is a Hawaiian philosophy. And basically, if you put your attention someplace, that's where all of your energy is going to go. And in the, in, the, in the frame of what I was talking about in a very simple terms, in very simple terms, you don't have to, in this breathing exercise, Pico Pico, you don't have to move the, you don't have to try to move the energy around. You don't have to try to get into any big meditative state. You just, if you just change the focus from your head to your belly button and with your breathing, 
all you have to do is do it a few times and you'll just notice that you relax more. It's, it means center to center in Hawaiian. And what about animals that have crossed over? As an animal communicator, you're, you have the ability to be able to connect with those energies who have left their physical vehicles here. How do you work with your mm -hmm. clients? Like how, how do they come through to you? I just, I connect to them directly and just, I connect to them in, in the same way. I, I, I use the same techniques I use in psychic mediumship where I raise my vibration, but as opposed to like just letting the information come in, I connect to them directly. And I, I absolutely, actually animals and spirit is one of my specialties and I absolutely love it because you don't have to go through all of the ego and all, you know, animals lives are so much smaller than people's lives. So they, you know, when you talk to an animal, I, I feel like I can get more into a, a linear, I, I hate to use that word linear conversation, but more into a conversation. And I, and if, if my clients are open to it, the, the messages that I am able to get from animals are, oh, they're so amazing. They're so spiritual because we're not going through all of that ego and they don't have these big lives. You know, I mean, they've got their, their homes. And, and once we get past the validation of their homes and their personalities or what I like to call felinalities or caninalities or whatever, I have gotten just some incredible, incredible, very spiritual messages that not only apply to specifically to those, you know, to their pet parents, but applied to everybody and that I am able to use to help people in grief. Speaking of which, and speaking of grief is my next question. You're going right there. What are three things that you would, you know, tell people to do if they've just lost their fur family member? Well, the first thing I always tell people is to understand that they are right there. I had one cat who showed me his, his mom was having a terrible time with, with his passing and he showed me himself unzipping his body and then just stepping out of his body as an ethereal mass next to his mom. And he said, mom, I'm right here. I'm just not wearing my clothes anymore. And so I always tell them that you, you need to understand that they're right there. But I also tell them that they, you know, rituals, we have rituals for, for reasons. And I tell them that it's a good thing for them to have, you know, some sort of memorial, whatever it is, if they just light a candle. And the really important part is if they have other animals, they need to understand that the other animals need to go through their grieving process as well. So if they have a memorial, if they want to sit and light a candle and talk about the, the, the pet who has passed, let the other animals be part of it so that, that they've gone through the process as well and not to get another animal too soon. Very cool. Lisa, because, I, I'm, I'm going to say thank you to you because you, you know, were selected to have a reading. But in, in reality, you apparently needed to be a guest contributor to Evolve today. And I think it's really important because so many people ask me the question about pets and about the other side. And I get them, but I'm not an animal communicator. I'm an animal communicator the way everybody else watching this is an animal communicator. I get how it happens. I understand that. But I think it's really, really important. And I think that when you use the word, you felt the whoosh happened before, it wasn't so much because I was going to read you. It was because you were going to work. So I want you to know that nothing happens by accident and I truly, truly, truly appreciate you doing this. So thank you very, very much. Can I ask a question? What's your website? It's pawstalk.net, P-A-W-S-T-A-L-K.net. Thank you very, very much, Lisa. I hope that other Evolve members find comfort and information. And the last time I'm gonna ask you to say it again, energy does what? Energy flows where attention goes. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, John, thank you. appreciate Thanks. it.
If you enjoyed this, share it with your family and friends. And if you'd like your evolution to continue, join Evolve now at johnedward.net and use the promo code SUMMER. Let your evolution begin.